Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, my name is Angela Mottram. I'm the Senior Ag Specialist on the COP program, and I work with Mercy Corps as well. Um, so, great. Welcome, everybody. Great to see you all here. Um, today, we're going to be talking about reinforcing food security for smallholder farmers with a particular focus on Africa. Um, this, as on top at the moment, is a really interesting subject. We're particularly focusing a lot of our work around soil and water health, um, and that, together with seeds, if we don't get those right, we're not really going to get anything else right in ag. So they're critical components that I think we need to be addressing. So today we're going to be reviewing some tools um, for identifying seed security constraints. And we're going to be sharing some on-the-ground implementation responses to address resilience and nutrition through the system. So it's uh, with pleasure that I introduce Louise Ferling, who's going to be leading um, a lot of the day today, together with Judy March. Um, so Louise is currently the Senior Technical Advisor at the Catholic Relief Services. I'm sure many of you know that she's also been working in this field for over 30 years. Um, and so Louise has worked across Africa, Asia, and Latin America. In terms of seed systems, it encompasses um, work with normal smallholder farming systems, as well as high-stress ones. For example, she's led assessment missions uh, after the Rwanda genocide, uh, post earthquake in Haiti, and the free referendum in South Sudan. So we have a lot of experience um, have it in the system. And she's also co-authored over 100 articles. And I just wanted to draw your attention to one thing that um, Louise has been working on re recently with our USA funded group. Is, um, she set up a website called seedsystem.org. We'll be sharing that out as a link um, on our website as well. Where that, that, that um, website there is to share practical and policy advice for those supporting smallholder farming, seed systems in crisis, chronic stress, and developmental periods. So there will be an information um, site that you can all go to that. Louise will be talking about a little bit more too. So it's also my pleasure to introduce Julie March. Um, Julie is the Agriculture and Livelihoods Team Lead for the U.S. Aid Office of Foreign Disaster Assistance, OFTA, as many of you know. Um, and so Julie has an academic and practical focus on agriculture, eco ecological, and farming systems. And she's supported the integration of systems thinking into disaster response, recovery, and resilience programs. And that's something that we're going to be spending some of our time on today, is looking at these systems within those three contexts. And her work has encouraged research and programming to determine best practice in disaster to support the design of interventions that contribute to, to sustainable systems. So it's great to have um, somebody from the donor side um, involved in that. So Louise, I think you're up there. She's a donor, but she's also a scientist. So all of us have multiple hats here. Okay, welcome everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. That is good. Uh, today we're going to talk about seed issues, but particularly seed system issues. So how to get seed systems working for smallholder farmers. There's really only one ground rule. No, we're a very diverse group here. No question is too basic. No question is too basic. But also, no question is too technical. So I look like someone like my colleague here, Bufaybig, and maybe he's worked on seed systems 25, 30 years. Um, or another colleague who does m and &E, just does monitoring and evaluation. We need to speak to each other and speak freely. Uh, before we start and we introduce ourselves, I just wanted a, a show of hands and the geographic region in which you generally work. Okay. So how many people here know Latin America or the Caribbean fairly well? OK, great. Six or seven. Okay. Uh, Africa, okay, most of us. Uh, Asia, South Asia. OK, Lesso, which is pretty typical. What about um, places like um, Australia, Timor-Leste, Papua New Guinea? Anyone out there? 
Okay, so basically, pretty good representation <laughs> also from Latin America, which is good, but also Africa, somewhat Asia. Okay, how many in the room would identify yourselves basically as agriculture? Okay, how many not agriculture? <clears throat> okay, very good. Um, whether it's monitoring, evaluation, gender, natural resource management, but we're split groups. How many seed systems per se? I mean, you've really worked on seed. Okay, about a third of us. Okay, very interesting. Okay, good. So this really means that we have to speak with each other. If you don't understand anything, speak up. If you want to raise a really contentious point, also speak up. Basically, um, so you know the structure, what's going to happen during these three hours. There's a, a first session that's going to give an overview of um, the state of seed systems, very quick. A second session, you all have a program. The second session is just on implementation, response, choice of interventions for different problems. Very practical, but very hard. And then the third session, which is called Select Technical Focus, there are three, these three kinds of interventions we're going to discuss, but we could discuss others. So general overview, very much then on the nitty-gritty of what are the implementation problems and the choice, and then three, three select technical discussions. 